WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Mohegan Sun Pocono. It's the New River, 105 and 103.5. This is music on the menu on the river. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like the stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going for me, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout, with you as I always am. Sunday nights, 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists doing their own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you, my friend. You too, Alan. How's it going? I'm doing just fine. Doing right. just fine. And, you know, we've gotten so much new music here at the show in 2018, you know, we did a whole show uh, about a month ago where we played pretty much nothing but songs from 2018. The following weeks, we kept adding some more songs from 2018 that we couldn't even squeeze in that night. We've been premiering new songs mm -hmm. almost every week, and we're going to do it again right now. This is a, another new song from Joe Burke. Joe has sent us two songs so far uh, within the last month, month and a half. His new album is coming out in October. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is so this is the third single from the new record. I really like Joe's stuff. I've met Joe down at um, Tony's Wine Cellar. Yeah. He's down there at the open mic nights mm -hmm. on Wednesdays um, occasionally, you know, as as we all are from time to time. And uh, he worked with Brett Alexander on this record at Saturation Acres Recording Studio. And this is single number three from the forthcoming record. It's called Present Tense.
should have got him Problem was I loved him too much And I had Mishi here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Standstill. We haven't played that one in quite a while. I'm pretty sure DC, she did that one at uh, Saturation Acres yeah. studio as well. We get a lot of fine records from that fine facility. And before that, Joe Burke, a brand new song, a song called Present Tense. We're going to keep the music rolling now with a song from Phyllis Hopkins. Phyllis has been with us at the Music on the Menu Live original music series. She's a uh, a blues artist from Pittston. She also teaches guitar at Rock Street Music. So sometimes when you pop into Rock Street to buy an instrument or inquire about uh, renting some sound gear, you'll see Phyllis. Uh, last time I was there a few months ago, mm -hmm. I bumped into Phyllis. Uh, great artist, uh, has recorded some really good stuff over the years. This one's called The Lowdown. <laughs> Change your evil ways And I try Try to be 
This is Ed Randazzo, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout, right here on The River. here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Soldier, Soldier from his forthcoming album. And before that, the Phyllis Hopkins trio with a song called The Lowdown. Ed will be with us this coming Wednesday night at the Music on the Menu Live original music series. Brett Alexander will be joining him. It'll be, I believe, the second time that Ed's been with us here at Breakers doing Music on the Menu Live. Mm -hmm. Possibly the third, uh, because we've been doing it now for... Almost five, five and a half years. Five years, yeah. Yeah, so he, it, 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 we're always great to see Ed. And this is real timely because um, his new album, which celebrates his 10 years of recording, will be um, unveiled uh, right around the time we do the show. It's coming out in October as well. Okay. And we'll have Ed in here on the show uh, next Sunday to talk all about it. Good. And so uh, nice. something to look forward to. Uh, maybe Brett could come over with him and we'll talk about you know their working relationship at, you know, recording music together of all these years. SSP TV will be with us on Wednesday night at Breakers, so we'll be shooting for television. The Weekender will be with us, so we'll have some of those music on the menu live t-shirts that everybody seems to be digging, and it should be a terrific night of music again. This Wednesday night, music on the menu live with Ed Rendazzo. We're going to take a quick break now. We'll be back in a flash, so stick around. It's that time of year in Northeast PA when the weather becomes cool and crisp, the leaves explode with color, the footballs are painted with blue and white. Hi, I'm Mitch from the Woodlands, and we love fall. Come explore all the great natural beauty Northeast Pennsylvania has to offer. 
stay at the Woodlands and travel to hundreds of great attractions. Whether it's Ricketts Glen, the Steamtown National Train Exhibit, or just take a ride to Harvey's Lake, the Woodlands makes the perfect headquarters to start your daily adventures. Stay with us Sunday through Thursday as we feature great rates, great amenities, and great staff. After a long day, relax in Northeast PA's largest hot tub. That's right, 17,000 gallons of warm water embracing you. And then sip on a cocktail overlooking the Laurel Run waterfall. We are across the street from Ohegan Sun Casino, and the Woodlands is your perfect fall getaway. Check us online at thewoodlandsresort.com or call us at 570-824-9831. The Woodlands, your fall getaway. Hi, this is Chris Jones, local entrepreneur and founder of Special Guest App. Are you a working musician looking for more gigs? Are you interested in gaining more exposure, building your audience, and discovering new venues? If so, then Special Guest App is for you. Special Guest can help you find shows right here in Northeast PA, the Lehigh Valley, State College, and beyond, and we make the process easy. No more haggling over performance fees, and you are guaranteed a quick and direct payment from the venues that we work with. And what's even better is that Special Guest takes no performance percentage fee from artists. We help you build a profile on our app. We help expose you and your music to more venues. And once booked, we help facilitate the entire booking process. As a working musician, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain by working with Special Guest. Are you a venue or an event planner and interested in streamlining the process of booking live entertainment? Special Guest is also for you. For more information, visit us at specialguestapp.com. Download our app on iOS devices or call one 81 talent All right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River, talking about some of the new music that's come our way this year, D.C. Adam Knowlton has sent us some stuff. Yeah. And he's been uh, working down in Nashville, I guess, on moving his music career forward. And I noticed um, on Facebook this week, I think he put uh, Reverb Nation, one of those... One of the internet charts. Mm-hmm. He's doing real well on there, too. So he's finding an audience outside. That's obviously all over the country that people are, are checking in on new tunes there. That's so, great, yeah. yeah. Adam's doing really great with his stuff. This is uh, the first one that he sent us earlier this year. A song called Redneck Night. Crank the tone, please. 
Hey, this is Aaron Fink, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout. This is The River. You're inside the inside of my brain. You're down. Thank you on music on the menu on the river with a song called Rock Steady Girl. And before that, Adam Knowlton with a song called Redneck Nightclub. Adam also shot a music video for Redneck Nightclub. So if you want yeah. to see the video, and just as the song is kind of like a bunch of people out in the woods with a big bonfire <laughs> going, nice. you know, just partying and, you know, it's, I love I, it. you know, it's, it's good stuff. And Aaron Fink has um, actually been doing some reunion shows recently with Lifer. Yeah. The band that he had been in previously before yeah. Breaking Bad and, um, having a good time with that from what I understand. Good. So uh, a lot of people out there, you know, enjoying, uh, enjoying live music. We're going to play one for you now from a dude that's been out there playing live music for 
least 25 years. I think I've met Terry Cummings from Strawberry Jam probably around 94. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's been, uh, you know, probably he's been doing it probably even prior to that. He put out a record a couple of years ago called Highway 420. Yeah. And um, you could probably guess <laughs> what it's about. I see what you did and, there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, uh, you know, I don't know how you feel about it, DC, uh, and we don't have to talk about how we feel about it I'm here all on the for show. It, by the way, <laughs> are you? <laughs> yes. <I> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, it's a little green shoes, I guess, once in a while. But uh, the um, the thing is, my a friend of mine was at the Outlaw Festival mm -hmm. at Montage about yeah. um, was it two weeks ago, yeah, almost think, now. Yeah. Yep. And Willie Nelson was there, mm -hmm. and Van Morrison. Yeah. Uh, some folks that I, I know that were at the show said it was a really good time. But my one buddy said. He said, dude, the plot was unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it's there's no discretion anymore. <laughs> right. It's like people are just walking around like that like they've got a Coke in their hands, you sure. know, like you know, like yeah. or, or a cigarette. Yeah. There it's not even like it's not even attempted to conceal. Right. right. And I I, th I think we're getting I in lo no no law like so I think we're getting pretty close yeah. to becoming uh, a nation of Colorados. Yeah. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Right. But uh, you know, I think I think we're getting there, and I think Terry Cummings would be cool with that. This one's called Highway 420. <laughs>
Aaron Spady here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called King of Hearts, one of the great blues artists from the year. You can also catch Clarence in New York City quite often. He has a regular gig at the Terra Blues down in uh, Greenwich Village out on Bleecker Street. My favorite bar in New York, coincidentally, happens to be uh, Clarence from here is like one of the house bands there. (laughs) So it's not every time I go to New York to the Village, uh, go to the Terra Blues, it seems I see see Clarence Spady, which is, is pretty cool. Before that, Terry Cummings with a song called Highway 420. DC, we were talking last week about the uh, McCartney record. Yeah. They be, Egypt Station debuting it number one on mm-hmm. uh, the Billboard chart. And I, I had mentioned that I had written about it, and I was going to post it on the music on the menu page. I want to thank 105 The River and all the Bull Gold stations for uh, sharing that commentary that I wrote about the record. It wound up being uh, one of the most read things that I've written in a while. Nice. You know, just for the virtue of you know the the web and sure you know McCartney fans and oh yeah all over hashtags the world. and all that stuff yeah, and yeah. you're winding up getting all sorts of cool feedback from people everywhere. But it, to me, I wanted to write about more than just the music. Um, obviously, I love the record, and and if you read what I wrote, you know that's that's very clear in there. Mm-hmm. But to me, that album going to number one signified something more that I've been trying to convey conversation the people that i talk about music i don't know what 
I don't know what it was like to have lived at the time of a Bach or a Mozart or a Beethoven. Right. I do know that even at their own time, though, they were a pretty big deal. Yeah. That people knew that this was these were these were the big artists of their time, and Rock that if stars. They, they were, and, if, and that if they did, <laughs> and if they had a new sympathy or something, that and they were going to premiere it somewhere, I assume it was going to be a big event. Oh yeah. But I don't know how old they were when they did that stuff. I'm going to assume, though, that maybe they did it when they were, you know, 30, 40 years old. Okay. All right. I'll go with that. Just like some of our artists did. Yeah. Or in the case of Paul McCartney in his 20s. Yeah. With the Beatles. Yep. But I would have to assume that those artists, when they were getting older and, and towards the end of their lives, and I know some of them might not have lived, you know, to be the ripe old age of 76, like Paul McCartney is still doing it. Right. Thank, thank, thank God. But I would imagine that people were paying attention to them throughout their whole lives. That if they came out with another piece of work when they were 70 years old, that it was still a pretty big deal. Yeah. And maybe it wasn't going to match the status of something that they had done earlier. Right. But they were paying attention. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to think of all that in context of McCartney. This is kind of what I wrote about. When when we're all gone, they're still going to be listening to him. They're still going to be listening to the Beatles. They're still going to be listening to his music. And they're going to be studying it. And they're going to be, someone is going to take a look and say, well, what, what was he doing towards the end of his life? And how were his contemporaries viewing it? And what they're going to see is a number one record yep. at 76 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're going to realize, oh, yeah, they, they hung with him right all along. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did. That's right. You know, I saw him play at Hershey Stadium a couple of years ago to 30,000 people. <laughs> you know, Lincoln Financial Field, Philadelphia, or Citizens Bank Park for... 45,000 people uh, and it'll be the same next summer w yeah. when he goes out. And so we are fortunate to be living in these times. We are fortunate that we are contemporaries of the founders of, of rock music, the, the greats. Mm -hmm. And they're still out there. They're still making records and they're still on tour. And I think McCartney's record to me, it going to number one almost signified that we're, we're very well aware of that yeah. and that we're on <laughs> and that we are on board and that, you know, we will be, um, we will be paying attention. And, and, that, and that is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Take a quick break now. We'll be back in a flash. It's that time of year in Northeast PA when the weather becomes cool and crisp. The leaves explode with color. The footballs are painted with blue and white. Hi, I'm Mitch from the Woodlands, and we love fall. Come explore all the great natural beauty Northeast Pennsylvania has to offer. Stay at the Woodlands and travel to hundreds of great attractions. Whether it's Ricketts Glen, the Steamtown National Train Exhibit, or just take a ride to Harvey's Lake, the Woodlands makes the perfect headquarters to start your daily adventures. Stay with us Sunday through Thursday as we feature great rates, great amenities, and great staff. After a long day, relax in Northeast PA's largest hot tub. That's right, 17,000 gallons of warm water embracing you. And then sip on a cocktail overlooking the Laurel Run Waterfall. We are across the street from Ohegan Sun Casino, and the Woodlands is your perfect fall getaway. Check us online at thewoodlandsresort.com or call us at 570-824-9831. The Woodlands, your fall getaway. All right, we're back here on Music on the Menu on the River. DC, we premiered a new tune so last week or the week before by The Frost. Mm -hmm. uh, got some nice feedback on that from social media. I know that the, the artists were really excited about it getting it on the radio and they sent us another one. So we're going to spin that here in a second. I did check them out on, on Facebook and I saw a clip a couple of days ago of them at a club and they were covering the Bee Gees, the song emotions. Yeah. Yeah. You it's know? like Bee Gees. And then there was like, I think the name Samantha sang and then like the Bee Gees were their, her backing vocals or something for Re it. Really good song. Yeah. You yeah, know, and yeah. not over, I love when bands do that. I love when bands go into a bar mm -hmm. and play a song that you don't hear all the time. Yeah. You know, when, when Gentleman East or Brett Alexander start covering uh, Do It Again mm -hmm. from Steely Dan, uh -huh. you know, a couple of years ago and they even put it on their EP. Yeah. Uh, I was up at the Woodlands a year ago this week. I know it was the end of September. And I saw this duo out on the deck cover, Firefall. Just remember, I love you. Uh -huh. 70s soft rock song. Yep, yep. But what a great song, you know, and it, for an acoustic setting, a beautiful night uh, sitting on the deck by the Woodlands, by mm -hmm. the stream. It was nice. it was perfect. Yeah. Uh, look, the Frost did a great job with that, that, that Barry Gibb tune, really did. And they did a great job with their own stuff, too. This one's called Gotta Live Fast. Slow, I could still look back. 
Outside the elevator And says take me to your room Baby take me to Take me to your room Baby take me to Take me to your room Baby take me to And lay me down Gently neat the sun
Sue's here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Take Me to Your Room. And before that, brand new music from The Frost, a song called Gotta Live Fast. Sue's DC have played Music on the Menu live. And um, I remember when The Weekender did a story back in April mm -hmm. about the relaunch of the series. I did, an, I did an interview with them. They were asking me for some of my favorite memories of doing the series over the years. And one of the first ones that popped to mind was Sue's. Uh, they did a show with us once, and I remember standing there watching them, and the band was just so good. Yeah, People were coming up to you in the club saying, who are these guys? Or, wow, these mm -hmm. guys are great. And it was just like liftoff. I mean, it was yeah. just like where the band is like literally taking you somewhere else. Nice. And, uh, yeah. You know that they they have that ability uh, when 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 they're, when they're really jamming and really good man based out of out of Kingston those guys. But I'm gonna play one for you now that we play on the show. Oh, I don't know. I would say you know you're here with me every week, DC. Probably play this one four or five times a year. Yeah. You know, if we do fifty two shows a year. Uh -huh. Yep. And it's an older one, but it's just one that we just come back to from time to time because it's just such a great song. I remember when I premiered it on the show years ago. Uh, the program director at the time, you know, he asked me a lot of questions about the band because he was interested in um, possibly, you know, he, he thought he thought the song could have been hit anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, that it sure. had that kind of that kind of potential. Yep. It's called "Love Like That" from As Is.
As is here on Music on the Menu on the Road, with a song called Love Like That. I want to remind everybody that we will be here at Mohegan Sun Pocono at Breakers as part of Music on the Menu Live on Wednesday night. This will be our first time going to Wednesday. We've been on Tuesdays for five and a half years now. But we'll see you Wednesday night with Ed Rendazzo and Brett Alexander. If you're a Yankee fan like I am and you're worried about the wild card, don't worry about it. The game won't start till about 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I was in the same situation last year. I remember uh, when we were up here on Tuesday and they were playing in that game and I, I was able to watch the whole game. So uh, get up here and check out the music. And if you're into baseball, don't worry about it. You're not going to miss a pitch. It'll be a great, great night of music. I leave you now with the Badleys, as I always do. This one is from Up There, Down Here. It's called Silly Little Man. We'll catch you next week. They don't understand It was all in the name of getting you The things you knew That you had come in You said a little man You said it ought not to blame You said a little man It's our part of a game That can't be changed You take it while you can It's all in the name of getting you The things that you know You have come in You said a little man